sustainability. At Dickinson, we see and hear the word sustainability everywhere. But is sustainability just an environmentally friendly way of life? Or is it something more? And if so, do we see it? Or is Dickinson's concept of sustainability creating a divide? Let's find out. I think there's a perceived divide just because there is that like idea that being sustainable is like being green or living in a tree house, like mm -hmm. all that sort of things. But I think it's just so much more than that. And so when you when you take classes about sustainability, you kind of learn about that. But if you don't, then it just it seems like are you green? Are you granola? Are you something else? An athlete? I think that a lot of times it comes to be kind of you have the sustainable people here and then the rest of campus. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like intentional, but I think you can always tell who is. So it's always you have the people. That are really sustainable and the rest of them they're just kind of like right. I think there's a huge divide between uh, people that are very into sustainability and the rest of campus um, and the only reason because of this is because you have to know some of the sustainability house or the tree house we have all these students who live a certain lifestyle living together um, but for somebody let's say on the football team or on the lacrosse team or um, who's in student government who just doesn't really know people from that part of campus you're just not going to be involved with it I do feel like there's a perceived divide, and not not in the sense that kind of it's it's rooted in kind of dislike or disgust or anything like that. More so, just because a lot of people feel like sustainability is something that you have to have a specific interest in, and in, in having that specific interest, you act a certain way. And if you don't have that specific interest, it's kind of like, oh, that's not my territory. You know what I mean? So in that aspect, I feel like a lot of people could say sustainability kind of has its own realm, and that kind of centers on things that are like specifically targeted at environmental sustainability. I feel like there is probably a divide between students in terms of those who are like sustainable and those who are not. And it's maybe not so much of a divide as it is a gradation. And the ones that are really visible are the extremes, as in any situation. I think the bigger divide that I've heard and seen is a divide between students and what students perceive to be the administration's take on sustainability. I think that's the bigger divide. It's not necessarily anything specific, but it's more that um, like admissions and the administration uses the word sustainability and the farm as a marketing gimmick more than anything else. Do you feel as if your involvement is included in Dickinson's opinions of sustainability? As a whole, no. I don't, yeah. I don't think so in reality. I mean, I don't feel like anything that any of my groups has done particularly ties into it really well. One of the main things that like have to be incorporated into every special project is a service component. But it's not, it's, we're not gonna automatically think of it as sustainability. Like we wouldn't necessarily put sustainability as the like title. It's tough um, when you're not a group that's focused solely on sustainability, like Earth Now for example, um, to be sustainable to Dickinson standards. Um, yeah, we'll do a bunch of, for example, um, in Delta Sig, like we've done a, multiple things to kind of cut down on our ways, cut down on trying to be more sustainable, but as an organization, that's not our goal because that we're about helping the community. But um, to Dickinson's uh, way of sustainability, we're not exactly on point. I think at face value that studio art, visual arts like sculpture, painting, drawing, those kinds of arts um, are not typically sustainable in terms of saving resources. Not necessarily something that you'll find written down in Dickinson's sense of sustainability, and that's not what people think of when they think of Dickinson's idea of sustainability, but I think the arts role in sustainability is kind of keeping us sustained as a culture. It's kind of this like, every, like this food that we've, we feed off of spiritually and emotionally, you know? I don't think that Michael specifically do so, but I'm sure that there's some kind of like leeway into that. 
seems like as if it's another world and you kind of have to be really informed to be in on that world. And I don't think that I, you know, I am. But I mean, I think that um, what ODI does is really tries to kind of like hold Dickinson true to its mission of diversity and in doing so, making sure that students understand diversity from a deeper level than kind of, we're diverse because we have these students. So just being able to kind of talk about certain things that, that affect certain people. A lot of those things come from like sustained dialogue. So we had um, some events this year. We had one about uh, Native American mascots in sports. So just through events like discussions and through um, kind of the bigger events like diversity monologues, um, those are some of the things that I think best gauge Dickinson. Sustainability must then be used as a more inclusive term for we all embody sustainability in numerous ways. At Dickinson, we all help to perpetuate sustainable ideas, sustainable actions, and a commitment to our communities that goes far beyond environmental conservation. But do students hear about the broader aspects of sustainability, or do we need to broaden Dickinson's definition? I think we hear more about environmental sustainability outside of the, the like ES majors. Mm -hmm. Um, I think people that are more like situated in Kaufman specifically will hear more about all the other aspects of it but I think outside of that at least for me you only really hear about the environmental mm -hmm. aspect of it. I think maybe, maybe they just don't show us enough what the definition of sustainability is so maybe maybe it is reaching out maybe it is getting more cease and turns that would be from different areas and then we could have them apply it in many different ways. I think that that would be a big positive. I think um, for all these organizations, if they try to be sustainable in, one, in even one way, um, that's a step. And that's just kind of the concept of sustainability, not just like in conservation, but just in being a responsible like part of the community. Social sustainability and the ability to move forward as a culture or a species. I don't know the full name of the class, but it's an African studies class and it's called like Black Sustainability. And it's about kind of the sustainability of black towns. So when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, I don't want, you know what I mean? I don't think I want to take this. It's not my, my forte, if you will, but it's kind of more so on kind of how you sustain yourself as a people in a particular location. So I would argue that my, I guess my definition of sustainability is going to get a lot broader. Now is the time to redefine sustainability as a more holistic definition that encompasses the diverse ways in which we sustain and improve life, both in our local and global communities.